Harrison School for the Arts will debut an original musical titled When You Dream, about the philanthropy of Publix founder George Jenkins at the Lakeland Area Chamber of Commerce's annual meeting on January 25th. Harrison Principal Darrell Ward wrote the musical after being approached by Janice Tedder Jones, immediate past chairwoman of the chamber. Well, her idea, her vision was she wanted to do something that honored the philanthropic legacy of George Jenkins. Not a biography kind of thing that had been done, but something that spoke to the legacy of giving that reverberates even today in our community. Good morning, Mr. George. The musical begins with Jenkins being turned away by new owners of the grocery store chain he worked at before going into business for himself. And I started with a song that sets the tone called When You Dream, which it harkens back to when the famous story of when he was managing in the 30s and he had some ideas for the new owner so he went up to Atlanta and asked to see him and he sat out in the waiting room and he could hear the owner talking about his golf game in the in the meeting and never did see him. That moment of rejection becomes Jenkins inspiration. He returns home, goes into business for himself, becomes hugely successful and is able to give back to his community. All of which When You Dream captures in original songs including Be There, No One Unseen, Good People and It's Worth More Than That. Six, seven, eight. After pinning the scripts and lyrics, Ward handed When You Dream over to Lakeland High School teacher Tyler Campbell, who wrote the original score. We had conversations really early on about stylistic things. Uh, you know, there's a song that has a gospel sort of feel to it, and there's one that has a reggae feel, and those were early decisions between he and I. Um, but it was the words that really allowed me to create melodies and harmonies that would reflect what was there in the text. Harrison teachers Susie Lambert and Laurel Renfro were brought in to co-direct the production. I'm a pretty tough critic, and I am honest with people when I say, people go, your principal wrote this show? And I said, yes, and an English teacher at Lakeland wrote the music, and they go, someone went, well, is it good? And I said, yeah, it's really good. The music is good. I'm proud of this work. Students from all of Harrison's departments were invited to collaborate on the production. Senior Cameron Brooks got the call to choreograph. Whenever we came with good people, Dr. Ward definitely said community. This song is about community. So we really wanted to have the public's workers and the employees coming together and showing that, um, that friendship with them. The students have provided so much to this process yeah, I'm, I'm creatively. I mean, there's marks of student choreography all over this thing. Even um, as we were learning the vocal parts, there were times where someone would say, what if it did this instead? And what if it went in this motion? And I went, absolutely, yes. So I write this thing and it's two dimensional. It's just words on paper. I give it to Tyler. He starts working with it and suddenly it starts to grow a little bit. It's, it's, it's hearing my words sung into music and I'm like, wow, I have no idea. I then give it to my teachers, Susie Lambert and Laurel Renfro. Their vision gets tacked onto it. Now it begins to grow even more. And then you give it to the students and their interpretation of my words and his music takes on its whole different life. So now it's this living, breathing, three-dimensional piece of art and it's just tremendous. This is all a gift, you know, a gift to our, to our principal who asked us to do this, a gift to our community, a gift to the chamber, you know, saying yes, we appreciate all that you do. Um, there's a lot of community partners that give to our school and it's our way to give back. Learn more about the arts programs of Harrison by visiting their website at harrisonarts.com.